This 3D printer uses fused deposition modeling to deposit 1,600 individual layers, thereby producing a model hand skeleton for use in medical teaching. The whole process takes just three hours. The medical applications include titanium cranial plates, polyamide heart valves, and cornstarch prosthetics, to name but a few. Here at Hanover Messer 2015, VDI Technology Center is profiling the many different uses of additive manufacturing. When I get complex, uh these days, someone building complex 3D models with lots of different highly intricate parts would also use a range of different 3D printing technologies. So for instance, I use Gibson powder binder jetting in combination with a five-head printer that can directly print multicolor display models. And if there are intricate pipes that need to be carefully threaded into the model, then they'll need to be made from a flexible material. For that, I always use selective laser sintering, a process which fuses polyamide powder particles into the required shape using a high power laser. Visitors are able to witness the entire production chain from design and 3D modeling right through to fully finished products in one-off and series production. The exhibitors here at the Additive Manufacturing Plaza are showcasing the many applications of 3D printing. The current trend in manufacturing is towards greater product individualization in mass production. Arburg's light switch rocker here is a good example of this. We have with the Vorstellung dieses additive fertigung systems Freeformer. We launched our Freeform additive manufacturing system in October 2013. It provides extreme levels of plastic part individualization, from small series right down to single lot production. The Freeformer complements our injection molding offering. Injection molding is used to produce large numbers of identical parts very rapidly. It's used to make things like lids for beverage bottles, for example. Additive manufacturing, on the other hand, is all about customizing individual components for applications in areas like medical technology. It can also be used to make finished products for end customers. Oder additive Fertigung heißt Einzelteile individualisiert, zum Beispiel für die Medizintechnik, zum Beispiel auch für den Endkunden herzustellen. Additive manufacturing is a growth sector that is continually spawning totally new business models. In not too many years from now, we'll be able to make everything we want simply by downloading the plans from the internet and printing it using our own personal fabricator. Really? Everything?